Good evening. There's no question just how much of a toll the pandemic has taken on New Mexico's children. But a new national study shows just how bad it's been, ranking New Mexico nearly last in the country when it comes to protecting and providing for our children. News 13's Courtney Allen is live at home this evening with more on that story. Courtney. Dean Jess, Children Advocacy Centers I spoke with say the ranking by Save the Children came as no surprise. They say New Mexico already ranked low for child well being, and the pandemic has just made it worse. Children in New Mexico are not doing well right now. Because the needs are greater, because the crisis is deeper. That's according to a new report that ranks New Mexico 47th out of 50 on how kids are doing during the pandemic. It is alarming. Christina Ford is the CEO of All Faiths Children's Advocacy Center in Albuquerque. She says they usually see more than 3,000 clients annually, but this past year, with students staying home from school, they're seeing a 30 to 40 percent decrease in some of their programs. We um, think that it's largely because uh, children are behind closed doors. There are fewer reports of abuse and neglect. While client numbers are down, their wait list is going up, sometimes 200 kids deep, since those they are reaching need more help. Those who are in our services discharge at a much slower rate than before. And that is because children and families need, need more support. The study looks at factors like hunger, difficulty paying bills, and lack of tools for remote learning. It highlights the challenges rural communities and people of color face. The population that we serve is um, mostly Hispanic. Stacy Clark is the executive director of La Pinon Children's Advocacy Center that serves southern New Mexico. Clark says the reported abuse they're seeing is extensive. It's some of the worst abuse that our forensic interviewers have ever seen. It's because perpetrators are in the home, so isolation is detrimental for these children. Ford says as schools reopen, they expect reports to increase, as it's often teachers who report neglected or abused kids. We still need to look at the lessons learned from COVID and also need to look at how we can talk about prevention in a more meaningful and emphasized way. The Senate did pass legislation yesterday to increase broadband in our state, which Ford says would help kids in rural communities with things like remote learning and telehealth appointments. The Senate Rules Committee also approved legislation today that would help fund early childhood education programs. Back to you. Courtney, thank you. News 13 reached out to the governor's office about that study. They say the state has made great efforts over the last year to mitigate the harm of the pandemic, including providing tens of millions of meals to students, as well as behavioral health outreach and services. If you'd like to read the report by Save the Children, just go to krqe.com.